I did also have a few jokes and funny memories about when Ross first passed his driving test and he drove his parents' uh, seven-seater Volkswagen Touran. One of them may involve one of the lads hanging off the roof rails in a car park, so I'd be honestly far too uncomfortable to carry on in front of Brian and Helen here. But sticking to the El Divino saga, coincidentally that's where these two newlyweds first locked eyes and lips. Today are words of special welcome as you've come to share in this celebration of love and joy. A very special day in the lives of Alexandra and Ross. Marriage should be honored as a way of life in which you will know the security of love and care and grow towards maturity. Alexandra and Ross are now to enter this way of life which God has created and in Christ has blessed. And today we pray that as you commit yourselves to each other forever, that you will know love and peace to surround you always. When Ali was very young, she used to like a wee drink. She used to say to me, Daddy, drink in a cup. But it didn't sound like that. It sounded like Daddy Dingabup. So she was the bup from there on. <laughs> we sent uh, Alexandra to the Victoria College in Belfast, where she excelled in mitching off school with her pals to, drinks, <laughs> to drink cider, wine, and other alcoholic beverages. <laughs> The first time I met Alex would have been in my, my home um, and occasionally with it I'd meet this lovely, bubbly, chatty, <laughs> lovely girl, very hard working. A couple of months would go on and I would say to Helen, is that, is that one of ours? <laughs> and Helen obviously said no, but it gives me great pleasure today to say that Alex is now Alex Garrett and one of the Garrett family. <laughs> So Ross is a quiet gentleman, and I'm absolutely delighted that Ali's chosen him to be her husband. They've been a fantastic wee couple, having been together now for over seven years. Ross, I'm passing the baton of care for my wee girl onto you, big lad, and I know you won't let me down. Oh my goodness. Oh God, you are beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bread. Gorgeous. What do you think? Stunning. Absolutely stunning. You're 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 First time that Ross came to my house um, and left his lovely big shoes at the front door. Um, the next day, I was in Mum's room as I often was, lying on the bed, actually sitting on the windowsill looking at you. And Mum turned around to me and said, "You're going to marry him?" And I said, "I don't think so." <laughs> but Mum, you're never wrong. <laughs> One question I find myself being asked over the past while frequently, when was the moment that you knew that you wanted to propose and get married? 
And to be honest, I was never able to give an answer to that question because looking back, it was never simply just a moment that made me realise. In fact, it was for all the amazing years that we have spent together, for every experience, good and bad, that we have shared. I believe, I have always known that from the night we met in El Davino, you were the only person that I wanted to spend the rest of my life with. I couldn't be happier to call you my wife. I love you and I can't wait to see what the future holds for us. I, Alexandra Christina Jean Parr, take you, Ross Garrett, to be my husband. I, Ross Garrett, take you, Alexandrina, <laughs> Alexandrina <laughs> Christina Jean Parr, <laughs> to be my wife. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. And to love and to cherish forever. Alexandra and Ross have exchanged vows. They've joined their hands. They have given and received rings. I therefore pronounce that they are now husband and wife. <laughs> Ross, you may now kiss your bride. <laughs> is our first child. As a much loved son, Helen and I, as with any new parents, would have had our concerns. We used to measure their heights, and we, every couple of months we would measure Ross's height. She started shooting up a bit, and I had calculated that by the age of 16, he was going to be eight foot six. <laughs> His bedroom was only nine by 12. <laughs> together for the new Mr. and Mrs. Tell me I'm seeing everything so different.